Hi everyone, due to what's been happening lately, there have been a lot of VPN requests and to help the process along a little bit so you guys can start remoting from home as soon as possible, we wanted to put together a little video walking you through the steps of how to request access and how to log into the VPN. A good place to start is our Sharewell site because there is a tutorial there and to get there you can just type in Sharewell SIU, I'm sure you guys know how to get to Sharewell. If you go down to the customer portal, okay. Now in the search bar, if we type in request VPN access, it'll open you up to a, a guide here that'll go through the different steps of how to do this. So it's just something to follow along with if uh, the video is going too quickly or if there's a step that seems a little vague, feel free to jump in here. But if you're not too concerned with this portion of it, um, I will walk you through each step. Um, you can just go ahead and go to netid.siu.edu by clicking this link or you can type in here netid.siu.edu. That'll bring you to this login screen where my credentials are saved. So I'm going to go through there and then put in the password. All right, once we're into our account, um, up here at the top, you'll see the request button and you'll see that I already have a request in for the VPN, which has already been completed. Um, but don't worry about that. I can still walk you through the process. Uh, we need to click the request access button here and see how it says select a user. You just want to include yourself and that'll go ahead and autofill everything for you. What you're asking for permission for is VPN, obviously. So just go down here and in the drop down list, select VPN and click next. It's not necessary to put anything in here. Uh, just click VPN access because that's what you want and click done. That'll open up section three. It'll autofill to give you an, a year's worth of access, which is Hopefully all this will be blown over by then and uh, on four for the submit request just put a description of remote work due to uh, school shutdown or coronavirus or whatever it is you want to put there and then go ahead and click the request button. So I'm not going to do that because I already have VPN access but once you send that through you should be able to go to your view request button. And under here, it'll say your VPN access request will either be status completed or pending. If you're regular faculty, then it'll be automatically approved. So then we can move on to the next step. And the next step would be just to go up here and sign out. All right, so now that we've logged out, we're going to log right back in. And this should give us a prompt that will allow us to do our authentication through Duo. This will, this is the next setup phase. So as we log in using your standard network ID, we get a prompt that looks like this. Now, before we can set anything up, we need to have our duo on our phone to where we can sync this up. So to get that set up, we're going to go to our mobile device and this is on Android. So it might look a little different if you're on iTunes or if you're on an Apple device, but same basic concept. Uh, and you're going to look for duo mobile. And this is the icon you're going to need. And we're going to go ahead and install that. Once we open it up, it'll ask for some permissions. Allow it to the user to see your camera. And then once this goes through, we can shine it on a um, QR code that they'll give us once we start the setup on here. So we recommend that you do a mobile phone where well, you'll always have it with you. Continue. Put in your phone number here. Um, I'm not going to show you my phone number, but it goes in this box. Once you go all th through all those prompts, pick which 
OS your phone is running, which is usually Android or iOS. If you're on an Apple device, it'll present you with this QR code here. Now, once you get this QR code, just line your duo up on the camera and take a snap. Uh, just a quick note before you move on to the next step or if you're having a problem getting your camera to recognize the code on the screen, you need to make sure that these three squares are visible. And then once you get the screen check mark, click continue. Once you move on to the next part, you're going to scroll down and when it says when I log in, we're going to change that setting to automatically send this device a duo push. Push means that it's going to send it to us on the app on our phone. And then we will continue to our login. Over here, um, we have our three options and we want to send a push notification. That means it's going to communicate with the app directly that's on our phone. So go ahead and send a push. And you should see at the bottom here it says pushed a login request to your device. Now on your phone there is a request for authentication on your Duo application. Or if you're in the Duo application already there should be a green bar over the top of it. Cl er, click that green bar and it should take you to Southern Illinois University Carbondale. Give your network ID and the date and then on the bottom there should be a green button that says approve and a red button that says deny of course we want to approve and now we are set up with duo and it takes us into our information and now we can carry on to the next step all right so now that all that's taken care of and out of the way we need to download the vpn client portion of the setup so uh, there's no real easy way to get to this URL. Um, usually what we do is we go through our tutorial here. And this install in particular I'm doing on a Windows computer, so that's the walkthrough that I'll be showing you. It should be broadly similar on the other operating systems here as well. But if you look over on the side here, you'll see where it says VPN registration. Click down to the Windows tab, and it'll go through this, uh, the setup of this part as well. But this URL right here is where we're going to go to get the installer to go through the rest of the process. So go ahead and go there. And then we'll put in our username. And go ahead and get another push. And remember this will show up on your phone and click the approve on the push notification and that'll put us through and then I'm going to download for Windows once that downloads depending on what browser you have it could be down here in the bottom it could be located up here where there's a little down arrow if you're on Mozilla Firefox and if you're using the Internet Explorer or Edge it should pop up with either a save file or a run but since we're in Chrome I'm going to go ahead and click down there to start run the application and there it is and accept the uh, terms is, is pretty straightforward you just click next through everything and let the computer do its work All right, now that is done we'll just go ahead and click finish now that we have the client installed on our computer, we can go ahead and connect to the VPN directly. So on Windows, it's easy to find. You just click the Start menu, and since we just added it, it will show up in your recently added up here. But just in case it doesn't, a quick search for Cisco will pull it up as well. So click that, and down here, um, this will be blank whenever you open it up. Uh, the address that we're trying to connect to is private.siu.edu, and we'll go ahead and click uh, click Connect. The username that is prompting you for is just your dog tag number and the password is your standard password for your net logon now the second password is the uh, six digit code that's in your duo app so if you open up your duo app you can put in that code there and click OK and it should connect you right up and then we're connected now 
there's different things you can do once you're connected to the VPN, um, but more or less it's like you are on campus, uh, connected to a campus computer. So now, uh, even though I'm at home, I can go to our files at siu.edu and it'll prompt me for my network credentials as if I were at the school, so. Oh, my mistake. If you wanna log on to the network as if we were at the school, uh, you have to declare yourself. So to do that, we need to tell the network that we are trying to access the SIU directory. And the way we would do that is by typing AD and then a backslash or the key right above the enter key on most standard keyboards. And then we put in our username and then our password as usual. And now we have access and you can get to all your resources if you were sit as if you were sitting at your computer. I hope this has helped. For any further questions, feel free to reach out to us at cola.support at siu.edu. And thank you for your time.